Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prism Planner and welcome back for another weekly plan with me or welcome to my channel if you're new here, hello. Uh, this week I'm going to be planning for the first week of October in my Vertical Neutral Erin Condren Life Planner and the kit I'm going to be using today is this gorgeous pink holographic kit from My Newest Addiction. Um, this is her secret sorority kit, um, so it's kind of a Harry Potter sorority mean girls kind of theme. Um, which I thought would be super appropriate because um, October is when I start to do all of my Halloween spreads and um, Harry Potter kind of fits in the Halloween theme. Um, so then here's some clear foil overlays. This is the freebie it came with and then these are my Halloween countdowns by Rose Colored Days. <clears throat> and those are in the, uh, I think she called it the pumpkin foil, which doesn't really match this spread, but I don't care because, you know, I got pumpkin foil because it's um, Halloween, obviously. <laughs> um, and then here are some clips from Lane and Alley Boutique. And this is last week, um, last week's spread, which I'm trying to remember to keep showing you guys when I film my plan with me's. So if you want to see that in a little more detail, just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Um, this is the Tombow Mono Correction style hybrid, whatever, uh, whiteout. It's just like a really nice whiteout. Um, you'll be able to find links to all of my tools and my whiteout and the stickers that I use and everything. Um, in the description box down below. So feel free to check down there if you're interested in finding out what I'm using or just leave me a comment and ask me a question and I'm happy to answer. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the bottom washi and the date covers and that basic kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, we'll come back to the sidebar and then the day by day um, once we um, get the foundation down. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start by whiting out those two lines um, there in the quote box because I don't want any of the little dots to show through. And then I wanted to pick out kind of one of the like more plain um, full boxes um, because I want to go ahead and use one of those quote overlays um, to go over that and make a little quote box since there isn't really any quote or anything. Um, and something to note with the kits from My Newest Addiction is that the full boxes are actually a little bit um, like extra long because they're supposed to include the, it's like a size of a full box plus the header in case you want to wear. So they're a little bit longer than usual, but that's fine. Um, since they are a little longer, I did decide to use um, this cotton candy bow from Simply Gilded. Um, instead of like the full 15 millimeter bows I usually use, I wanted to use a 10, um, you know, again, just because these boxes are longer, so. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay down my Monday through Sunday tracker. Um, and then that I use um, in the sidebar as my little gratitude log. So I just like to mark something that I am thankful for for that day. <laughs> um, and then I go ahead and use another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. And um, use one of the full box checklists for my to-do list. So I just keep a little running to-do list of things that I want to try to get done. Um... By the end of that week which you know not everything always happens but uh it's okay <laughs> that's fine 
as long as I know what I need to try to get do, try to get done, try to get do, it's do. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to leave that there. And I forgot to leave some room for the to-do header because I forgot there were to-do headers, but it's fine. <laughs> I end up adding one a little later, so. Um, and then I just end it off at the bottom there with another little strip of the Cotton Candy Simply Gilded, which is honestly one of my favorites. There isn't really um any blue in this kit because it's kind of like a blue and pink ombre gradient um but it's just got the hollow bows and there's pink and it's just a really pretty bow cotton candy is a favorite like I just said anyway so I wanted to use it <laughs> and uh, that is my sidebar oh and since there's also the space on this on this Monday through Sunday tracker up at the top for like a little you know header type of situation uh, I'm going to be taking this this week script in holographic foil from Rose Color Days that whole sheet I just cut up to fit in my storage, but it's like her $5 sampler you can find on her website. Um, so I'm going to put that for this week there. And then we're just going to go ahead and figure out how I want my full boxes to go. <laughs> um, since there's nine of them, I do have to omit one of um, one of them. And I did want to use the little scene, the little like dorm room kind of scene or whatever. Um, so I've never done a Wednesday, Thursday, like split double box situation but I did for this week and um I like it <laughs> um so we'll see if I do that again it's it's all right it's not like my favorite thing but it's all right it's okay anyway but yeah this kit is definitely super appropriate for this week because like I said it does have the Harry Potter theme of course and um I do you know w watch Harry Potter um, at least every single year around Halloween, you know, in October, but not just that, but also October 3rd is a Mean Girls Day, uh, which falls on a Wednesday, and on Wednesdays we wear pink, so it's so perfect that this kit is pink, and it also has a Mean Girls vibe to it with the whole Boo You Horcrux thing, um, and then the Harry Potter, because it's, like I said, it's October, so it's, like, so perfect. I love this kit, and then the pink hollow, like, yes, everything hollow, give me hollow, I'm the hollow queen. I have pronounced that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this kit though. It's just like perfect for this week. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get my full boxes down and then we'll be right back to start Monday. Alrighty, so starting with Monday, I'm going to take these gorgeous holographic triple arrows from My Newest Addiction and then layer that with a Cozy Paper Co. gold foiled uh, camera icon because I need to film. Um, I'm going to be filming my Erin Condren notes uh, video, like so the back of the, the notes in the back of the planner. And um, if you're new here, then again, hello, welcome, please subscribe. Uh, I don't mind mixing metals, so even though the majority metal is holographic, Obviously, I don't have a ton of icons in pink hollow specifically, so I'm fine with mixing it with regular hollow, as well as gold too. Like, I don't mind mixing metals, as long as, like, I have a primary metal, I guess, and then the others are kind of like accents. So, anyway, I also have a coupon code for Cozy Paper Co., so check the description box to save 15%. I'm moving along. The fancy little kind of label um, in the middle there was um, from my schoolwork. And then the half box down at the bottom is because on October 1st, I want to go ahead and get all of my Halloween decor set up. I like to set that up uh, first thing of the month and, you know, let that go all the way through the 31st. Whew, sorry, y'all. I'm tired. Anyway, and then I remembered that these, like, headers were in the kit, but I didn't necessarily want to put them on the top of the full boxes. Again, these are already long full boxes anyway because, like I said, they're the length of um, a full box plus a header. So I just kind of sporadically put them around the planner. Um, then I remembered that I had this little pumpkin icon from my, the sticker genie from a, a little freebie sampler thingy. Um, and again, that box is for setting up Halloween deco. So I just wanted to put that in there. 
Sorry if you can hear my dog making noise in the background. <laughs> okay, anyway, I also apologize for you being a little out of frame there. Um, I just took like a little flag quarter box and I used a happy birthday script from my new stiction in gold foil. And then I'm taking a half box just to mark I have something due for school on that day. Um, and then that little fancy label thing is for um, some schoolwork I need to do. So half boxes are to mark what is actually due on that day. And then the little fancy labels are to mark something I need to do. <laughs> so moving right along. Sorry, I'm out of breath now because I was chasing the dog to stop making noise. I'm taking another um, uh, Mind is Addiction arrow uh, to mark that I need to edit that video. And, um, and then I'm taking a bill due from the kit since I have a bill due on Tuesday. Um, normally I use some other like little scripts and icon thingies from Rose Color Days as well for my videos, but I just kind of didn't want too much gold in the kit and I only have those in gold, rose gold, and silver. So I just decided I'll just stick with my arrows because I have hollow arrows and the arrows are always like video related for me. So I just stuck with that. Moving on to Wednesday, um, I need to upload that notes video on Wednesday. Let's hope I can do it. <laughs> so I've always faced the arrows up for upload and i um, going to, you know, put that on the top of Wednesday. That does end up getting moved though. <laughs> um, again, the full box, I mean the half box is to mark uh, something that is due for school. And then again, I'm just kind of putting the headers in random places. So that one went on top of the full box, but they don't, you know, all do it. <clears throat> Then I've got the fancy label, again, to mark that I have to do something for school, whether that's, you know, an assignment or a quiz or a paper or whatever, homework or something. Um, and then I'm taking this little quarter box, like, flag, and that's just, I'm going to write in that, you know, it is Mean Girls Day on Wednesday, October 3rd. And I wanted to use a little icon from the, you know, clear transparent ones, and I decided on the book because it kind of reminds me of, like, the burn book. <laughs> so... If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Mean Girls and then come back to me. Anyway, <laughs> um, then I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> try to squeeze in another half box because we have a little library event to go to on Wednesday um, with my son. So we go to these free library events that they have for kids and um, they don't have them every day. Sometimes I get lucky and we have them like five days a week. But as you can see from Monday and Tuesday, there's nothing going on. So we're not going on Monday or Tuesday, but we're going to go Wednesday. So I'm just trying to move things around to make everything fit because, I don't know, Wednesday was just like full of boxes. <laughs> And then, like I said, those do end up kind of getting moved around, but you will see that later. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to Thursday, I'm going to start with a half box again to mark that I have an assignment due or a quiz or something like that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take these little bow clips from Minus Addiction with the gold foil. And these are the Gryffindor colorway, which obviously there's no red in this kit, but I mean, how can I not use my Gryffindor bow clips? in a Mean Girls Harry Potter spread. I can't, I have to. So, <laughs> Gryffindor pride. I always use those uh, book clips to mark pre-planning. So I do tend to, you know, want to pre-plan before I film my uh, weekly video, plan with me video. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this my new, or sorry, Magic Prince Co. Uh, gold foil nail polish icon because again, I like to do my nails <clears throat> before I film my plan with me. Uh, and then the quarter box at the bottom of the day with the Magic Prince Co. Gold Full Trash kind of Trash icon is for Trash Eve because I mark Trash Eve and not Trash Day. Trash Day is Friday. So Thursday is Trash Eve. And then, hold on, i got to move the phone out of my way. Okay, and then Friday, no, sorry, Thursday still, <laughs> the half box with Hedgewig is for the um, little library event that we've got going on Thursday. So that is, uh, that is Thursday. <laughs> uh, moving along to Friday, uh, there is a breakfast with books at my son's school. Um, so we just go early and then I guess we get like breakfast and we read books and he gets a free book. So it's going to be fun. Hopefully, um, I try, it's going to be my first one going. I've tried to go before, but I can't wake up that early, but this time I'm really going to try to go and I was going to get a little book icon, but then that half box already had books in it. So it was like freaking perfect. Monday's half box had books too, so I just love this kit. 
But anyway, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and film my plan with me for the next week. So again, I'm using the same Minus Diction Arrow and then the Cozy Paper Co. Gold Foil the camera icon. Now I film on my iPhone, but um, it just makes more sense to me to just use a camera icon instead of like a phone icon. Um, and then it's Friday, so we've got some more bills due. So I'm just going to use the second bill due that is in the kit because um, it came with two. And then the only other thing Friday we've got going on is another library event. Um, so I'm just going to take another half box. And I was trying to decide right there if I wanted to leave enough room for me to actually write in like Erin Condren plan with me under the icons, but I decided I didn't want to. <laughs> so I moved it up like really close to it. Anyway, um, and then yeah, so we've got a library event. So I'm using the half box with the um, Harry Potter glasses for the bottom of Friday to mark our little library event. And then um, we'll move on to the weekend. <laughs> So starting with the top of Saturday, as you can see here, I haven't been saying it, but I've been whiting out the dots, so, you know, so they don't show through. And I kind of have this plan as I go type of style with planning. Um, again, this is my first year planning in an ear and condren, so I don't know if I'm going to stick with that style, but it's been working for me, so I like it. Um, I'm going to use this quarter box to mark that we have to have a little, we or we're going to a little Home Depot event, and then this other um, half box is to mark with the sorting hat. Um, is to mark another library event that's going on. Um, but then I forgot that I need to make room for family time because we have family time every Saturday at my in-law's house where we eat dinner and um, watch a movie. Uh, so I'm just trying to move that to, you know, make room for family time. Um, and the Home Depot thing should be pretty fun too because that's going to be like building a fireboat. Um, I guess, you know, like out of wooden stuff because I guess like October's like fire awareness or something. So if you've got kiddos, definitely check out your library, your local public library and check out Home Depot because they offer the free kids workshops. Uh, anyway, next I'm taking this family time script from Cozy Paper Co. with the pink background and the gold foil because again, Saturdays is like family night for us. Um, and again, remember, I have a discount code for Cozy Paper Co. So check the description box to save. Uh, and then moving on to Sunday, I'm going to use a little Monday Diction Arrow again. Or wait, I'm sorry. First, I'm putting down the header. <laughs> Those headers that, you know, I wanted to use one every day in a random spot. Um, and then comes the arrow <laughs> because I need to edit my plan with me. My little weekly, um, you know, for next week's plan with me. Um, and then, yeah, at the bottom of Sunday, so I'm trying to do this thing now where instead of on Mondays I'm is my cleaning day, I'm going to make Sunday my cleaning day. Just because, like, Monday I'm busy with, like, usually I'm trying to upload my video and, like, edit it last minute because, like, I don't know, I'm just, like, a slacker and I don't get it done on the weekends. It's usually really because my son's kind of loud and I'd have to do it, like, after he goes to sleep, like, film the voiceover, record the voiceover. You know, and then, but like when he goes to sleep, like I'm exhausted. I just want to lay down and like just spend some time with my husband and stuff. And it's just, ugh, you know, got to like clean up after dinner and all this crap. So I don't know. I just don't like doing it on the weekends. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to really work with my schedule here. So that way, like Sundays, we'll get the cleaning out of the way. And then Mondays, I've got schoolwork to do as well. Because I try to do schoolwork Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um... And then, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I just don't want to be, like, cleaning on Monday, basically. I'd rather just get a bunch of cleaning done on Sunday, especially when my family's home to help me, you know, like, enlist my enlist my husband and my son to help because neither of them are, like, working or in school. <laughs> so, like, we can all put a family effort in and just get, the you know, everything done, and hopefully that's that. <laughs> so that'll be my cleaning list. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, here's the washi I used for the washi weekend banner. Most of it is simply yielded with the exception of that just plain sparkly pink one. That's from like the Target dollar spot. Um, and then the gorgeous weekend banner. This came in the kit with this beautiful pink hollow. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's so stunning. Oh my gosh. I love it. Anyway, um, so then I'm going to just go ahead and, um, you know, that's basically the whole plans, but then I'm just going to figure out, you know, what quotes do I want where. And then I have like a ton of, you know, more like little deco and stuff. So we'll uh, discuss spreading that around. So I decided for my quote box um, and I had to offset it a little bit because I wanted it to fit, you know, in the, in the little box there. Um, the one that says it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live with the elder wand there at the bottom. And I believe that's a Dumbledore quote, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I could be, but whatever. Um, anyways, so I really decided I wanted to use like all of them. <laughs> 
you know, what else am I going to use these? You know, they're pink hollow and the Harry Potter. So it's kind of specific. Um, so I really wanted to use all of them. So I decided, hold on, let me move my phone. Okay. So I was going to put something over Monday's box, but I decided not to. Um, instead, I'm going to take the, um, the second quote, um, which is the Luna Lovegood quote. And there's her like spectra specs right there. Um, it says things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end, if not always in the way we expect it. Um, so that just put that over, uh, the box on Sunday, since that was a pretty plain, you know, box, except for the, you know, Marauders map footprints. Um, and then that extra sheet that I purchased right there did have a couple of header like overlays too. Um, but I mean, I don't know, it's the same print as like the actual headers that came in the kits and there's only two of them. So I just put them on top of some random, you know, full boxes, <laughs> um, just to go there on Tuesday was where I put the second one. Um, and then I have these beautiful pink hollow foil uh, paper clips from Binks and Bones. And I put those on the days where I have something due for school. I like to use paper clips for like meetings and school or work or whatever. And I mean, they're pink hollow. So obviously this is like the perfect time to use them. Um, and I do have a discount code for Binks and Bones. So again, check the description for that. She actually named that foil after me. She named it Moon Prism Pink uh, because everybody knows I'm obsessed with pink and hollow. <laughs> so yeah, that's from Binks and Bones. Definitely give her a shout or not. I'll give her a shout out. You go check her out <laughs> and use my code to save. Um, anyway, since I put the um, paper clip on Thursday on the right, I really wanted to move um, the bow clip to the left. So I just moved that out of the way. Um, and then I kind of bent the corner a little bit. So I just used my exacto knife to flatten that back out and then it was fine. So, I mean, I could have used undo, but like, mm, if it's not necessary, I don't really want to use it. But anyway, um, and then I've looked at all these freaking gorgeous bows. Um, I decided on the Binks and Bones pink hollow ones. Cause like, obviously again, pink hollow, hello, but I had all these beautiful bows. Um, the little tiny bows were from Cozy Paper Co. And then those other like variety of pink bows were another bow from Binks and Bones. But, um, yeah, I just decided I had to go with the pink hollow foil, the moon prism pink. <laughs> um, and I'm just putting those on top of the days where I have an assignment to do for school. Uh, next I'm going to use my rose color days. Um, Halloween countdowns because I'm so excited for Halloween. I say this in like every video I feel like, but yeah, October um, is a big deal for me because Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, like everybody, Halloween and Christmas. Um, so I'm so excited. Again, those are in the pumpkin foil, which is a new foil for Lauren. Um, and again, there's not really any orange in this kit, but like whatever, I don't care. I mean, there's orange on Monday, right? From the little pumpkin, I don't care. Um, I had to use orange because most of my spreads for October are going to be orange. Um, so yeah, this is an exception, but I didn't care. I have to use my countdowns. Anyway, that right there um, is my old freebie from Sticker Insanity. And so I used my little golden snitch that was on my old freebie because I used to PR for her, but my PR term ended. Um, and I'm going to put that down in the bottom washi. And then that other little sampler sheet was like some hand-drawn stickers by Ame. She also used to PR for Sticker Insanity. So we used to be little PR sisters. And I got that in an order that I placed for Sticker Insanity when I was on her team. Um, and, you know, like we're all Harry Potter obsessed. So <laughs> I used the Monster Book of Monsters. And then, like I said, my little golden snitch that was on my old freebie. And I had a ton of these icons. So I used, you know, like the hat and the candle and the tarot cards, uh, the crystal ball, and then another Spectra Specs, the Luna Lovegood's um, glasses, um, all in the bottom to spruce up the bottom washi a little bit. Um, and then I wanted to take some little skinny five millimeter Simply Gilded bows to go on the top of the planner. I did initially put the um, same bow, just this like light pink with the holographic bows um, on both sides. It's from the candy, yeah, candy bow collection. But I decided it just looked way too light and most of this kit is like a darker pink. And so I used, um, I actually mis mix matched them. I used the left side, I, used, I ended up changing out um, for the tropical bows, which have gold bows, but it's like fine. There's a little bit of gold in the spread anyway. Um, so yeah, those have the gold bows. And then I left the right, the right side of the planner with the light pink and the hollow bows. And I thought it looks, I think it looks really pretty anyways. <laughs> um, and then there's the two to David header. Cause again, I forgot to put it, but I did eventually. 
and I added the Elder Wand um, on Tuesday as well. So here's the completed spread. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Give me a thumbs up if you're a freaking Mean Girls fan, a Harry Potter fan, a Halloween fan, whatever. Just hit the like button. <laughs> and then definitely please subscribe if you're not already and you'd like to see more from me. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this spread, what you think about all the gorgeous hollow and the pinks and the Mean Girls Day. Wednesday, we wear pink. Harry Potter. Like, let's talk, please, because I'm obsessed. And if you're obsessed too, or if you even like it in the slightest, please let me know so we can have a conversation. <laughs> I mean, just look at all of this gorgeous rainbow pink holographic goodness. Oh, like I can't. Oh, it's stunning. Anyway, but seriously, and I mean, look at the weekend banner. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, for real now. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, a wonderful day. Um, dang, you know what? I just realized I should have matched my nails for this spread, but I didn't because I'm a failure whatever anyways um oh and by the way I forgot to show you the rest of the kit so I just kind of hold the phone out and it's kind of janky and I was trying to remain as still as possible because I was too lazy to put it back in the tripod whatever I apologize anyway here's what's left of the kit thank you all so so much again for watching take care bye